Hi, this is Eric with Stormtrooper Ranch. This week's review is going to be on the uh, German FX stunt helmet. And this one I've had for quite a few years. It's an acrylic capped ABS plastic. It's very smooth. It's not the lumpy bumpy cap. Um, the eyes were cut back quite a bit. I didn't assemble this. This came assembled. Um, but for back in the day, this is a pretty nice helmet. It has uh, decals that give it the hand painted appearance. It's got the a V brow that's not screen accurate. Um, it's kind of smaller. It's not uh, what people are using today. It's not what they used back in the day in the movie. And the bottom trim is also a V trim of some kind um, that was put on there. It's not the S trim. It did not come with any padding. It did come with bubble lenses, or flat lenses, I'm sorry. Um, this was done as a Empire Strikes Back, so it's got the black frown. They did not put the white um, decal under the tube stripes. But all in all, it's a pretty nice helmet. It's very solid very well built. Uh, looks nice. Um, it's a little smaller than most helmets and you can see how it really drops down, the, the chin really drops down on this one compared to a lot of them. So when it's sitting it really has a large arc right there. But uh, overall it's a pretty nice helmet. Um, like I said I've had it for oh, I don't know 10-12 years something like that. And uh, back when I got this, this was one of the nicer helmets you could get. And uh, I was happy to get it back then. I had two of them. I gave one to a friend. Um, but anyway, it's a pretty nice helmet. I don't know that they're still making them. Um, if they are, I don't know how to get a hold of them. But like I said, it was quite a few years ago when these were made. And I'm sure someone else is over in the UK is doing them now. But uh, again, this was the German FX, and it's a very nice helmet, looks nice, and I uh, hope you enjoy this. Have a good day.